Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafting with Janine. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this super cute folded boutique style ribbon bow. They're super cute and I like to do this three different ways. I'm going to show you um, the two different ways with the two layers, but you can always do one layer. And as always, all the measurements will be in the description below. So we're going to jump in and get right to it. So to do the double layer one here, you're going to need a total of four pieces. These are with inch and a half ribbon. And again, I do like the grow grain. It does come out looking better. So you're going to need four pieces cut to seven inches long. And that's to do this one. If you just want to do the single, la single layer, then you'll only need two pieces. Um, you'll also need, um, for this base here, it's going to be a double pinch bow. And that's two pieces cut to eight inches long. I'm not going to show you the double pinch bow in this one, but I will link that video in the description because I already have one for this double pinch bow just to shorten up the video. And then you're also going to need two pieces cut to four inches long. And this is all inch and a half. And so we're just going to jump in. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to make a crease down all of them. So we're just going to go through these four. Your long four pieces, we're just going to make a crease. And I'm using my little iron here. If you don't have the iron, you can always use a lighter or a straightening iron if that's what you have. I like my little iron. So, so all I'm doing is I'm just going through and making a center crease. On my 7 inch long pieces. Just going through. And I've got my crease. And then the next thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to open them up, and I want to do my pink one on the the bottom one. And then I'm going to use this double stick tape. I will also leave a link for that in the comments in, this, in the description below. So I'm just going to put a piece on each of my bottom ones. This just helps hold my uh, pieces of ribbon together so that they don't shift while I do everything. I think it. I just like to do this because it's just a little added help just to hold them together so then we're just going to take our creases line up our creases and stack our ribbon like so and like so so now we have that so now what you're going to do because you're also going to want a couple of alligator clips you're going to take your four inch piece, fold it in half, but you don't want to crease this one. You want to fold it back in half again this way, and then just make a slight crease here. And then this, this crease here lines up with this crease here. So we're just going to line that up, that up. It's just so you know exactly where the middle is for everything. And then I just take an alligator clip and I set it there. So now, I'm going to show you how to do this one first. So for this one, you're going to take your top piece. You're going to fold it over this way. And you're going to take this piece and flip it like this. So that it looks like that in front of you. And you just take your clip and shift it and hold it in place. Now you take the next one on the top. You fold it over and then you flip it over like this. And lining up all your edges and everything and then we shift our clip so that it looks like this so now we're going to do the same thing fold it over and flip it over shift our clip fold it over and flip it over and shift our clip so that we have this right here looking at us so now we're going to do needle with upholstery thread and we're going to do four stitches so we're going to go one, two, three, and four. Like that. Pull our clip and cinch it all tight. Get it all nice and tight and gathered up. And then we're going to take our needle 
and go back through all the layers. And then we're going to tie it off in the back. Just like that. There we go. So that you have this right here. So now we're going to do the same exact thing on this one. So again, we fold this in half. We fold it in half this way. Then we make a slight crease. And then we line up crease to crease. Grab an alligator clip and clip it on. And then fold over and then flip. Lining up edges. Fold over, then flip. And then we do it again. Fold over and flip. Fold over and flip. So we have this. And then we do our stitches again. And we're going to go one, two, three, and four. Pull our clip, snip our tail. Pull everything nice and tight. Get everything all lined up on this side. Take your needle and go back through all the layers. And tie it off in the back. So, and then so we have this and we're going to meet them up together this next step you don't have to do this, this is something I do I take the edge of my wood burner and I just kind of melt and flatten my edges here it's just something I personally like to do I think it gets it flatter cleaner so that both sides meet up perfectly. So then I'm just going to put some glue here. And just going to hold them there for a few minutes. And while I do this, I'm going to ask you guys to please, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And also hit that little bell icon right next to the subscribe button. It'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Since I am not scheduled, like I don't schedule myself for videos, so I upload basically randomly. So at least this way you'll know when I do upload a video. As well as I will put all the links to the measurement, the links to the, the tape and my Facebook group in the description below. As well as the uh, measurements always in the description below. And the link for the double pinch bow. So while this one kind of sets and dries, I'm going to show you now how to do this style. So this one is this one with them like this. And I'm going to show you how to do this way. I already did one side, so I'm going to show you how to do the other side. Got everything all set up for me. So you're going to do the same step, just a little bit different. So we're going to take this side over and then flip it. And then instead of going to the next red one, I'm going to take the blue one and fold it and flip it. And now I'm going to do this side. Just gets you a slightly different look. This bow is so much fun to make because it is so uh, versatile. Like this one, I've got all solids, the little prints, the single layer, double layers. Different ways to do the double layers. So then we're just going to fold over and flip. This bow is so much fun to make. There's so many different ways, combinations, so many different things you can do with it. And then we're just going to go 
One, two, three, and four. And then we pull it all tight. Get everything all nice and tight and lined up. Put our needle back through all the layers. And then tie it off in the back. Like so. So now we have our both sides and we're going to do the same thing. Flatten our edge. Flatten our edge. And then we glue. And then we hold it for just a minute. So like I said, this bow is a, so much fun to make in so many different combinations. I mean, there's there's nothing you can't do with it. I mean, whatever supplies you have, you can take this bow and do it a um, hundred different ways. So while that one sets, I'm going to finish it off. So we've got our double pinch bow. Like I said, this one will be linked in the description below. So we're just going to take this one. We're going to take some glue and just attach it right here. Set it right over the top, right in the middle. And then we're just going to take 3 8 inch ribbon. I like, you can do it however you want. I'm going to match the, the top one. So we're just going to take that. And on the back here, I'm going to put a little bit of glue. And I say this in all my videos that I do this with. I like to wrap my centers twice. If you only prefer to go around once, just go around once. If you want to go around more than that, do that. But I like to do twice, so I'm going to go one and two. And it just cleans it up, secures it all. And then we snip, seal, and glue. Just like that. And then we kind of fix because we manipulate everything when we wrap our centers. So there you have it. Super cute, super fun. Um, does not take a whole lot of time to make it. Uh, you can bust out a bunch of these pretty fairly quickly. I like to do them. I say it all the time. I am a one of a kind bow maker. Like I like to keep mine all like individual. The styles might be the same. But the bow itself will always be slightly different. Like, the colors and the variations and all that. Like this one I did with using the primary colors. Because I had this handprint ribbon that has like the primary colors in it. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'm just going to go off and finish off this one. Same way. Just set it on top of our double pinch. And then take our ribbon, a little bit of glue, just like so, and we wrap it twice. So that, so again, please, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and please do subscribe. Your thumbs up and your subscri subscriptions do help us. YouTubers get seen a little bit more in the giant array of YouTube videos and please come join my Facebook group where there you can connect with me show me pictures of stuff that you've done and an amazing group of people I call them my happy crafting family and they really are a family because everybody looks out for each other they're always also supportive and helpful great please come over there and join and show me 
pictures of work that you've done using my videos and please don't hesitate to ask if there is one that I haven't done and you maybe want to see me do one for, please ask because I run out of ideas on my own. So please do, do not hesitate to ask me if I could do a video on something. Post a picture of it. If you don't know, I say my rules are that you just don't claim it as your own picture, but sometimes it's the only way we can ask the question. But please do again and don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, happy crafting!